Hi guys. Uh, look, I wanted to do a follow-up video on uh, Don't Heal People. The video, Don't Heal Anyone, um, that I just put out. I think I've gone over this before, but for new people and for clarification, I want to go into it a little bit deeper. Now, uh, basically what happens here is... When someone heals someone, whether or not that's a doctor or a nurse or a naturopath or an energy healer, what happens is you set up shop and this is your business. And let's say that you're a, uh, you heal somebody with uh, natural <clears throat> energies or um, earth magics or conventional medicine. What happens is you set up shop and you set up shop and you hang out your shingle and you say, okay, I'm here to heal people. Right there, you set up an energy call with the law of a universe that says, I want people to come to me that need to be healed. Right then, at that moment, there is a a, say a call out for entities who agree to come to you and be healed of a disease if there aren't any and you're good enough and you want it enough then there will be entities that come in or entities that were not uh, needing to be healed before that now will need to be healed to feel to fill your energy call of I'm here to heal people come to me and I will heal you now, modern um, people, they believe that the people are sick already or um, they were sick, they were going to get sick and it didn't have anything to do with you being there with your, with your shingle out your door where it says, you know, this is who I am, come to me. But like most things in this creationary process, they've got it backwards. So, what I'm saying to you is, if you are going to heal somebody, and if you're going to use any of those processes, which if you're listening to me, uh, you're probably not a regular modern uh, doctor. Um, if you're a physician's assistant or a nurse practitioner, you can follow these guidelines as well. So what you can do is you can set up the same shop, but your intent instead will be bring people to me, I will help them get healed, and then I will teach them how to heal themselves or how to avoid needing to be healed. Now, with that kind of energy sent out, a completely different thing happens. Now, people are not created that need to be healed by you for you to come to them and say, yay, I've healed people, I'm doing a good thing, I'm a good guy, okay? When in reality, the person that does that wouldn't really be considered a good guy because what they're doing is they're asking the law of attraction to find and get people sick for them who will volunteer, of course, to be sick. But you're, when you do it that way, you're making people sick so that they can come to you and be healed um, according to your call. Bring me sick people. I want to heal sick people. Which would make them, the person that does that is kind of a bad guy. Uh, okay, so what the other way that you do it is you really are a good guy. And you say, okay, I understand the law of attraction. I don't want anybody to become sick or fill a role of a sick person for me. All quite the contrary. What I want to do is I want to show people that the sickness is their creation and how they can fix this themselves. Now, people can make um, appointment after appointment after appointment you can still build a business on this, and you could still uh, make a living on this. But it is the manner which with, with which you talk to the law of attraction creationary process. If you're very, very clear that only people come to you who are aware of their 
starting to be aware of their creationary power and are very um, understanding of the fact that uh, all disease is created by the person themselves. All, everything is created by the person themselves. Everything that's in your life, their life, is created by them, by you. Okay? So, you need people like that. And absolutely, you can assist in helping them to remember. You're not going to teach them anything. You're going to help them remember how to do it themselves. In the process. The process of how they made it and they were they were they did it themselves and the process of how that they can get out of making it themselves okay so you're going to assist them in remembering that's what you're going to do so you might end up being kind of a, a psychoanalyst of sorts <laughs> and as well as being a masseuse or a nurse practitioner or whatever you are. Now let's say that you're already out in the world and you're listening to my videos and you're going, um, I can't lose my job. I have bills to pay. I'm the only one that has a job and I'm a regular nurse in a regular hospital. How do I make this happen? Well, you can make this happen. You simply see that you work for people who do not call for more sick people to be created so that they can get money, so that they can fill up their hospital. That you work for people who are honest to goodness, wanting to make people well, and who only visualize and talk about a world where there is no pain and suffering at all. Okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else I should talk about on that one? I think you covered all the spectrums. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry I'm really sleepy here. <laughs> but I wanted to get that out before I forgot about it. So, absolutely, you want to, you want to clarify, be real cautious about what you call, what kind of patient you call, you need to be very, very clear on what kind of place you work for. Now, remember, there are infinite timelines. So, if you can, if you're the place that you work for, you can, you can, you can scan around it, or you can remember, or you know kind of the attitude about the place and the corporation involved, and you'll know if they are in it for the money or if they're in it to um, wipe the. Uh, sickness and illness is off the face of the planet. But even if they're in it for money, understand that that's the place that you are in. That you believe that the only way that um, they can pay their bills and, and uh, that you'll have a job doing what you love and helping <laughs> people, that you didn't understand it. So you drew yourself to a timeline with a company who is doing it that way. That's doing it in the way that means, um, please, uh, please come to our hospital or our clinic and we will help you out here. That they are absolutely in it for the money. Because you were in it for the money. Because that's what you believed. But you can absolutely change that and go to a timeline and say, I, I, I know that this is the way it was. Because I was aligned with that, because that's what I believed in. But now, I believe in something else. So now I'm going to work for a place that fill in the blank. And you can absolutely change to a hospital, even though you're going to the same one. You can absolutely go to a hospital where they do not, I mean, you can change the hospital so that they do not do it for the money, but they do it to take pain, or pain and suffering and illness off of the planet. Okay? Now, they may not know the specifics of how they are going to do it, but you don't need to worry about what they are doing because you're going to create that facility, and you don't even need to know how they do it. All you need to know is that you are a powerful, powerful being, 
and simply by intending, simply by insisting that the place that you walk into the next morning is no longer in it for the money, but they are absolutely in it because they absolutely believe that people can live a healthy enough life that disease disappears. That you can do, right? You can do that. Uh, it's easier to do that uh, coming from somebody who, who's done it. It's easier to do that if you work night shifts. <laughs> so the people that are in the offices where they do count the money, that you don't hear them as loud. So it's easier to visualize what it was they were saying in the office today if you don't come in and listen to what they really say. Now, after you've been there for a while, you can totally, um, you can totally go to day shift and listen to what they say, knowing, without a doubt, knowing that you have gone to a timeline where people are not, uh, there's not blanks for uh, people to be created or come in to be the the uh, sick people or the victims of the car crashes or whatever fill in the blanks. Okay? Does that make sense? So what we're doing is we're getting rid of everybody that heals people and we're changing over the people that heal people to an enlightened version where they can heal people, but in the process of, of healing people, they're going to teach people how to heal themselves first. And then they're going to teach people how to never get sick again. Remember, as we raise up in vibration, the length span of the human uh, does get longer and longer and longer. And eventually, once you go to 5D, about halfway up, you don't do that um, time thing the same way anymore. So if you are in the middle of the play in the game and you do enjoy fifth dimension and you want to stay there, you absolutely can for a very, very extended period of time. Because the human body was designed that if there is no toxins of any kind, and toxins are included in stress as well as dirty food and water, that it absolutely completely changes, I believe, every cell in the body every seven years. So if you um, intend that your body is going to renew itself with great brand new cells and you believe it's going to stay exactly the same, you can pick a year that you liked a lot or the year that you came into fifth dimension if that feels better to you and just say, yep, this is a good age, keep me here. And your body will. It will get rid of... Uh, all different kinds of, you know, things that need to be got rid of on top of the bed. And then it will... On top of the bed? On top of the bed? That's what you said. Oh, my gosh. On top. I don't know. I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> what was I want. saying? <laughs> yeah, it's like close this thing out. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I'm going to close this thing out. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to get to them. I know this is kind of a tricky subject, but I really need for you guys to start really understanding how you are involved in this creation of all of this game. That it's not all the reptilians' fault. That this everything that's created around you is you doing it. Okay? And how we can change that and do it differently. That's all. We're just going to do it Let's tweak it a little bit. Yeah, we're going to change some rules and tweak it a little bit. It'll be great fun. Okay, guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. Thank you so much for your support. Seriously, I am, I am so happy that you're here listening to my videos. If you like the videos, give me a thumbs up if you would, please. Comment below. I'll try to get back to you. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye-bye now.